four. Hi, I would like to introduce Dr. Richard Lippman. He is the Vice Chair of Neurology at LIJ Medical Center, Chief of Vascular Neurology, and Professor of Neurology at the Zucker School of Medicine, Hofstra Northwell. Welcome, Dr. Lippman. It is terrific to see you again, and we thank you so much for your continued uh, contributions to our Thank telecom. you very much, Ginny. And it's a pleasure to be here and a pleasure to see everyone again. Thank you. And I know that you have brought us some terrific information as you always do. Uh, first, we kind of like to touch on a topic that you have spoken about in the past, and it's the alternative to the TPA clot buster injection that has been in use for quite some time now for treatment of stroke, and it's called tenecteplase. Uh, can you tell us just a little bit more how widespread the use is now? Yes. Yeah, so. Uh... Tenecteplase is kind of a first cousin, actually almost almost an identical twin of uh, TPA. If you look at the way it's built, its uh, shape, and what it's made out of, it's almost identical to TPA with just a few little tweaks here and there that give Tenecteplase some special properties. And uh, those special properties are that it lasts longer in your bloodstream and as a result, it only has to be given over a few seconds in one injection, and it does its job, as opposed to TPA, which doesn't last as long in your bloodstream. So you have to first give it as an injection, and then you have to give it through an IV for an hour. And that tends to complicate things a little bit. If you, someone's had a stroke and you need to transfer them to another hospital, and now you've got another IV going through a pump going in for another hour, transfer to the ambulance, from the ambulance to the other hospital, make sure that IV is still functioning well. Tenecteplase does exactly the same job as a clot buster. It's every bit as good as TPA, but it's much less complicated, much easier to give. And now multiple, multiple, multiple studies have shown that it's at least as good as TPA in terms of effectiveness. It's at least as safe as TPA in terms of any kinds of bleeding complications. Some studies have even suggested that when you have a blockage of a large blood vessel within the head, that tenecteplase may be as much as twice as good at breaking down that blood clot, basically that blockage, and reestablishing blood flow in the head. So it looks like all positives for tenecteplase, no downside, by the way, it is actually somewhat less expensive than TPA as well. So that's good for health systems and hospitals who are looking at their budgets. And um, so basically, that's a long answer to your question. Tenecteplase has not 100% replaced TPA across the country, across the continent, across the world. But there are an increasing number of hospitals everywhere um, which have basically adopted tenecteplase full as a full-blown replacement to TPA. Some countries like India and uh, to a large extent Australia have uh, as a country basically replaced TPA with tenecteplase. I would guess approximately 30 to 40 percent of hospitals in the United States are now using tenecteplase um, instead of TPA. Okay, good. Thank you very much. I was personally very curious about that. So thank you very much for your input on that. And uh, we'll see you in a little bit later. And I'm sure you'll have some more terrific information for us.